What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with an experimental video in which I'm going to spectate players back to back in Rust and piece together the footage. So you can't film simultaneously in Rust and this is as close as it's going to get. I logged on Rustopia and literally went back to back spectating players filming the footage and I've now pieced it together. So the purpose of this is to show you the madness, the chaos of what it's like on a Rust server. We're going to give those players a private moment. Looks like something's going on there. But it's to capture the moment, the magic, the beauty, the chaos of what vanilla Rust looks like. So this first vignette is between Flaming Anus and Gambino. They're living in a house down here, which is at the base of the Glow Monument. It looks like it's mid-game rust from the way that the base looks. Lots of sheet metal, lots of stone invested into it. But they still have to acquire resources, still have to build that base up because they're not immune from raiders. They never will be, but it's uh, still a very delicate point in the game. So as Flaming Anus makes his way up to the Glow Monument. He's very cautious here, and for good reason. This is a monument in Rust that attracts a lot of players due to the loot. And up top here, we have Helen Keller with a spear, and a player named Joe down below with a rock. They've both identified Anus as a threat, and they're moving in on him. He's quickly able to take Joe out. Joe just has a rock here, and uh, Anus is relatively well geared compared to Joe because he's got that watch cap on and also a shirt, which gives him some protection. Helen Keller's now come down from up top. He made a Hail Mary move, throwing a spear, but missing Anus. Anus now is coming in with a kill shot on Helen Keller and uh, ending Helen's existence there. So Anus is now infused with a bloodlust. He feels as though he's the alpha here at the dome, but that is a mistake to make because the alpha here is the dome itself. It's a place of death. It's a place of um, great peril. So you'll notice here, he gives hot pursuit to one of the escapees who he wasn't able to engage on the ground. But as he's going up there, he falls to almost his death, but he's now saved by a player named Vaughn. You'll notice Vaughn is very suspicious. He does revive Flaming Anus, but then has his crossbow pointed right at him. Vaughn promptly goes back to hitting trees. So notice how Vaughn looks very scary with his bone armor, but he's actually the nicest guy here. He revived Anus. Anus now met up with his friend Gambino, who they were living together with down below, and again fell now to his death, falling off of that globe. As things often happen in Rust, it's come full circle and Helen Keller's come back to the globe. Helen has now taken Flaming Anus's shirt, also the black watch cap, and the weapon that anus had and he's now he's now the alpha of the dome here well the dome still is the alpha but uh helen keller is now tearing shit up down here and uh is a force to be reckoned with will he get gambino up top who's in the dome or will gambino avenge his friend's death that remains to be seen moving on we are now taking a look at the 911 clans base over here they have engaged the attack chopper in rust if you're not familiar with what the attack chopper is it's a pve event and threat. It doesn't happen all the time. It happens about every 48 to 72 in-game hours, but it is definitely a force to be reckoned with, as you can see here. As it attacks the base, it has both machine gun fire and also rockets that it will pepper the base with. When the rockets hit the base, they are sometimes incendiary rockets, or napalm rather, that will sheet the, sheet the base in a, a coating of napalm, which you'll see here in a moment. So the chopper was almost about to be taken down. 9-11 almost had downed it. And it came up, it bukkakied him with some uh, napalm, some fire rockets there, and it took off actually heading over towards the dome where presumably Helen Keller and Flaming Anus were still fighting it out. The next little vignette we have here, the next players we spectated on were, it looked like a combination of CML and Boga, but they had a tower up here that was still under construction. And this, not a lot of action was going on here, but it reminded me, or maybe really think rather, of the vulnerability of Rust. And this little scene, I think, just sort of speaks to that, how the tower is still under construction. We can see the skeleton of it, and it's under constant watch, constant guard by the members because it's extremely vulnerable. Um, so I thought that was just a really interesting perspective to see. Now we're moving on over and we're taking a look at a group of savages who are moving out here. I'm not familiar with this group on Rustopia, but they are moving in a pack here. They're going to be certainly a force to be reckoned with. Anytime you have a bit of a Zerg coming your way, especially in the earlier to mid game Rust, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. What I think happened here is they came upon a base which at first looks like it's a new player's base. It has a door, a wooden door, and a roof that is completely twig material. But I believe this was actually a trap base or... Uh, 
a death base if you're familiar with those. Those are bases where if you go into them, you're going to get shot and killed. And they had a door that was open on the side here. As soon as this group realized that and went in there, the members started getting domed. So I believe it was a trap or bait house as they're often called. But uh, eventually that group took out the opposition in there because they certainly had the numbers. So you want to avoid trap houses. You also want to be mindful of small houses like this, which are full of players with boxes, guns, and loot. This typically is called a raid base or a forward operating base. And it uh, consists of players who are going to roll out in uh, a concentrated force, mostly to raid a place. So these players rolled out, looks like just to cause chaos, but they actually ended up back where we started the video at Flaming Anuses and uh, Gambino's base over by the globe. So let me know if you like this guys, Fado82, peace.